What's going on YouTube? Back with another video and uh, this is probably going to be farewell to 2019. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so just wanted to make uh, at least one more video before uh, before the new year hits and uh, I also wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, uh, whatever holiday that you celebrate. Um, can't believe like this this year has flown by it, it really has went by pretty quickly um, I've been off the scene <coughs> uh, for two to three weeks now uh, due to being sick uh, I actually got the flu um, about three weeks ago and it lasted about maybe four days four or five days kind of came and went and I uh, was doing better for another three to four days and then I got hit again with the flu and the second time it came <clears throat> it was uh, really really rough really really rough um, probably the worst symptoms and most unique symptoms I ever had while being sick um, something I don't wish upon anyone um, it's really bad here in Florida I know a lot of people who got it who've been sick uh, I actually went to my doctor, she was sick, and what was interesting is that she said that everyone in her lab uh, has gotten the flu shot and has still gotten the flu this year. So it's a higher strain going around and it's, it's, it's no joke. So I, I just encourage everyone out there to be careful. Use sanitizer, clean your keyboards, clean your phones, clean your, you know, anything that you use on a daily basis. Uh, wear a mask if you have to because you don't want what I just had. I, I'm telling you, I didn't know if I was even going to be able to make it um, about three of those days. I, I woke up every morning realizing that I was still alive and, and, and thanking God for that. So it's been tough and uh, it's still lingering a little bit. So I'm not really feeling all that great, but um, I'm able to make at least one more video for you guys. So. Um, Today, uh, really this is just a very quick video, um, I wanted to do the bike yoke review, which is the dropper post that I got, and uh, show you kind of a little bit more details on how that works and a little bit more about the particular one that I bought, um, and also show you uh, a new upgrade that I bought um, for the Epic uh, during the uh, Black Friday sale. I got the uh, ground control tires, um, which are specialized tires for it. Now I am a Maxxis guy, <coughs> and I normally stick with Maxxis tires, but these come highly recommended. Shout out to you again, Lars. Merry Christmas to you, man. Um, but I did get those installed, and uh, and they look good. And I think they're actually going to be a lot better than the fast tracks. I actually have a race coming up in January where I'm going to use this for the first time in a cross country race. So I'm excited about that, but. I just haven't had any time to train for it <clears throat> and so because of that man I'm uh, I don't know how well I'm going to do but I've already paid for it so I'm still going to do it so we'll see how that goes but in the meantime man um, let me show you a little bit about this biker post and kind of talk a little bit about it as well so again this is the if you look at the actual um, branding on the uh, on the post it's bike yoke and I think they've been out for a while. They've put out other posts, so this isn't the uh, first particular one that they have. Um, but this one right here is actually one of the newest ones and it's called the Revive. Now, here's the cool thing about this particular dropper post and you'll also see right here, you have the actual lever that it comes with and it is ran internally through the actual uh, epic post. Now the cool thing about this particular post is that it is a twin tube design and so basically what that means is the air um, can directly contact the oil and the air actually gets into the oil. <coughs> Excuse me. And so basically what happens is um, whenever this Thing starts to feel a little squishy or whatever the case may be there is a reset valve on the actual 
post, and I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it says reset on it, and what it is is a four, um, it's a four uh, milliliter, uh, what you call it? I can't even think of the name of the tool. Um, basically, you use a four ml tool to, to, to reset that post, um, the hex bar tool. And <coughs> if there's any squishiness in it, you reset that tool, I'm sorry, reset that post, press the actual seat down um, when you actually reset it. And then what happens is it squishes out pretty much all of the, uh, the air out of the chamber, uh, out of the oil chamber. And basically goes back into the air chamber and then it resets it pretty much back to normal at that point. So, in other words, with all that being said, um, it's very little maintenance to this, basically. If you have a problem with it, it feels squishy, you use the tool to reset it, press it down, hit the button back up, hit the lever back up, and then you're good to go. Um, so that's one of the, uh, excuse me guys, while I cough right quick. Ugh, being sick is rough, man. But, um, Anyway, back to the actual lever. Um, so yeah, and this is pretty much, pretty much it. Um, now, again, this isn't <clears throat> a cheap post by any means. And of course, you know, when I went to the shop, no one had really ever heard of this brand. Um, <clears throat> everyone was kind of telling me what their favorite was, which is the Rock Shop, Rock Shocks. Uh, what is it called? The Reverb, I think it is, or something like that. <clears throat> and so I get it. Like everyone kind of uses that particular um, dropper post. So um, when I was looking at dropper posts, you know, there's a lot of them out there. Everyone at the shop was kind of telling me their favorites, which is, of course, almost everyone was saying the same thing. The Rock Shocks uh, Reverb, uh, which is probably one of the most popular ones and in the industry right now. And so I just wanted to go with something different, but the main reason why I went with that one is just because I want to deal with less maintenance as possible on it. I don't want to deal with having to take it to the shop to re get it re-looked at or send it back to Rock Shock. So after doing the research, this one it seems like, hey man, you got a problem? Hit the reset valve, push the seat down, pop it back up, you're good to go. Um, and so yeah, I just went with that one. So do the research on it if you guys are you guys are interested in. Uh, checking out that post man but <clears throat> from uh from what i've used it for i've not had any problems with it at all man so um yeah it's a pretty good good post oh let me give you a sh shot real quick of the ground control tires on there you can see a lot more aggressive looking than the fast tracks um definitely have seem like they have really good knobby grip on there yeah, I think this is definitely gonna be better than the stock ones that I have. Now, this particular bike um, in the front, I think it came with a 2.3, and then in the back, the Fast Track came stock with a 2.1. I went with 2.3s on 29 uh, by 2.3s on both of these uh, front and rear. So the rear is definitely a bigger tire. I like that as well. I just think this is gonna give me a definitely a better ride and better feel once I take it on the uh, on the trail. Um, so now that's about it guys. I just wanted to give you a quick video update on um, the, uh, the post and then the tires. And uh, my next video, well actually I got two planned. One in January when I do the race. Um, I was gonna do like a story leading to it, the training and all of that, but I haven't trained for it. And we're talking about two weeks from now is this race. And I'm still not in any condition to train right now or ride a bike. You know, I'm just really overcoming the second time of having the flu. And my body, my body man is taking a toll. It's really taking a toll. I'm coughing every day and just the aches and pains. And I'm just tired, man. My body is tired. And so uh, I'm going to give probably another week off. And then maybe that last week I'll train a few days before and just see how well I do see how it goes but you can't do too much training right now anyway 
Um, and then the other video I'm getting ready to come out with pretty soon is something I've been researching, and that is a um, headphones review for cyclists or bike, you know, those, those of us who ride bikes. Um, and I've, I've, you know, I have a lot of different types of headphones, but none of the ones that I have um, really worn have been that great or for what I need it for. So I think I found the solution. I'm waiting for them to come into the mail, then I'll do a full review of those and give you my opinions on what you should use when, what type of headphones you should use when um, riding your bike. So I want to do a video on that. And then um, that's about it for what I can think of as of right now, guys. So um, the only thing else I just want to say is uh, I appreciate everyone for following my channel and sticking with me. I'm at, what, 250 followers, which I know really isn't a lot. But, you know, um, still, you guys are stuck through. I've, I've got almost 50 videos out there. And this stuff isn't easy and it's very time consuming. I work a full-time job of business and doing this at the same time is very difficult. It can be very difficult. And I see why a lot of people just tap out of it. You know, they give up or they're just like, you know what, it's just not worth it. I do this really to give information and do reviews to help you guys out. Um, I don't make any money off of it. First off, I don't have as many subscribers. You need a thousand subscribers, I think, before you can even start making any type of money off YouTube and I'm not I'm not even halfway there I'm only a quarter there quarter of that way there so um, just support me guys I, I appreciate everyone out there who has been supporting me but if you know anyone else just hey just ask them to subscribe man and uh, I understand how it is all of our attention spans are short I go on YouTube and don't subscribe to everyone that I see but you know once I start seeing someone who posts a lot and I'm really into their channel and their videos and I see like five or six videos that they really have that I like, then I will subscribe to a person. You know what I mean? I don't just flip and never subscribe, you know, because I understand what goes on behind the scenes and how much work is involved. So I just ask everyone to please do the same and please continue to support. I'll continue to push out the content and the videos. And I hope this year is, uh, you know, a, a good year for everyone out here. We're in a new decade. And um, yeah, I just, I just wish everyone a, uh, a happy holiday and a, and a happy new year and I will check you guys out in 2020 you guys be safe during the break and I'll talk to you later peace